That's right, it's episode 4 of the Beetlejuice by GM Season 2. That's a whole handful. We're getting into it, we're wrestling, we're winning, we're losing, I don't know, it's Beetlejuice time. I'm Beetlejuice, baby! It's recap time, we have Kevin Owens who's currently 8 and 5. Last episode was going down a bad path, Matt Riddle was beat him back and forth, took his title, he won it back, he's a 2 time WWE Champion, 2 time MVP. We have the man Becky Lynch turning it around last episode was 1 and 8 when 2 and 0 last episode is now 3 and 8 and not only that most importantly won back her title she's now a 3 time women's champion. We have Mickey James who has the best record of all our wrestlers at 7 and 1 she's a tag champ she's an MVP. We have Mickey's tag team partner Sasha Banks tag champion was losing some matches to Charlotte is now 8 and 4. We have Goldberg who two episodes was undefeated then Dolph Ziggler gave him the beating Three straight losses. Now, the last episode, he wins four straight. He's eight and three, and now he's our current tag champion. Then we have Kofi, who started off 0 and 2, was losing with Goldberg, but now he's winning with Goldberg. Went 4 and 0 last episode, like Goldberg, and won the tag titles with Goldberg, our current tag champions. We didn't use Mandy Rose at all last episode, so she stays at 4 and 2. Ivar had a pretty impressive episode, beating Eddie and Ray. He's now 4 and 2. We had Trish Stratus just dropping the ball last episode. She went undefeated two episodes ago. Then she lost two straight to Becky. She's 3-2 and two now. She's a one-time MVP, one-time champion. We have Brock turning around after going 1-1 one and one with Samoa Joe. Beats The Undertaker twice. He's now 3-1. and one. Matt Riddle did what no one else has done so far. He has won both championships available to him. He's currently 6-6. Six and six. One time WWE Champion, he had it, and he lost it last seconds to Kevin Owens, and he's a two-time tag champion. Didn't look good for Eddie last episode, he's now 4-4. Four and four. Same thing that happened to Brock when he started, it happened to Bobby Lashley. Bobby's now 1-1 one one after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Samoa Joe. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, comes to Monday Night Raw, he is 0-0. Zero zero. We also added Jeff Hardy, who is also 0-0. Zero Dolph goes from winning MVP to just getting destroyed last episode. He is now 6-10. First person to hit that double digit uh, record. Two time tag champ, one time MVP as mentioned. We didn't use Bailey last episode, so she stays at 4-6. One time women's champ, one time MVP. Rey Mysterio lost to Ivar. He's 5-7, two time tag champion. Was not a good episode for Chad Gable either. He's 5-7, two time tag champion, just like Rey Mysterio. Samoa Joe still up and down. He's four and seven. One time WWE. Charlotte Flair giving Sasha Banks some rare losses. She is now six and seven. Two episodes we messed up Walter's record. It don't matter because we didn't even use him last episode, so he stays at four and five. Payne Royce not having the success she had last season when she had Billy Kay to help her. She's two and seven. Not looking good for the dead man as the Undertaker is 0 and two, but can he turn it around like Kofi Kingston did? It's time to announce the male and female Slapnuts MVPs of the week. In season one, this only happened three times, and it only happened for the women. That is a double MVP. That is right. For the first time, the men get a double MVP. And it goes to those guys who just did great together. Starting with Goldberg. Guess what, son? You're next. And Kofi Kingston, our men's Slapnuts MVPs of the week. I wanted to give it to Matt Riddle. He did so well, but Kofi and Goldberg both went 4-0, and and I considered three MVPs, but that's too crazy. Because it's all led to this moment! And the female Slapnuts MVP goes to Becky Lynch. It's been up and down for Becky, but she's slowly turning it around with the Slapnuts MVP award. I deserve to be standing here. On to Raw, we have Sasha and Mickey defending their tag titles against Peyton and Charlotte. And Charlotte and Peyton finally defeat and dethrone the tag champs. We turn AJ into a good guy, so he go against Kevin. Trish wanted the Mandy match. We're late. We broke a promise, but we give it to her, and she picks up a win, and it starts a rivalry. Bad match, though. Like I said, Kevin versus AJ going to start that feud. Goldberg and Kofi, tables match, defending the titles against Ray and Eddie. Goldberg and Kofi, just, they're on a roll, and they win yet again. We're doing Hardy versus Walter, giving Walter something to do. Undertaker, can he finally beat Brock Lesnar? And no, Brock Lesnar beats Undertaker again. 
to open up NXT. They have Shayna Baszler versus Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship. And Shayna Baszler picks up the win against Asuka. Eric cuts a promo. John Cena runs in on brute force while going against Kane. And Kane picks up the win. Did Cena need to do that against brute force though? Roderick Strong calls out Drew. They love that rivalry. Edge and Hogan versus Cameron Grimes and Razor Ramon. And Edge and Hogan pick up the win. Starts a rivalry. Drew cuts a promo after being called out. And they love Tamina and Naomi. Extreme Rules going one-on-one. -on -one and Naomi picks up the win against Tamina. And NXT looks strong. We have some contracts coming up. The Undertaker, even though he's 0-3, we re-sign him. We have Mickey James. She wants a match against Bailey. Sure, we haven't done anything with Bailey. We'll give you the match. Eddie's tired of losing. I'm sorry, Eddie. AJ Styles' first match against Kevin Owens for the WWE title. And AJ picks up the win. And he's our new champ. Doesn't look good for Kevin. Charlotte calls out Becky after winning the tag title. She wants another title. We give Mickey what she wants against Bailey. Hell in a cell. And Mickey James just can't lose. She looks great. Starts a rivalry. Becky Lynch does some charity after being called out. Eddie Guerrero, he wants a win. We're giving him against Walter. Jeff running in, and Eddie gets it. He finally gets the win he wanted. Hardy and Walter's rivalry goes up. Payne Royce does charity after winning the title. Bobby versus Samoa Joe, one-on-one, -on -one, and Bobby beats Joe, continuing their rivalry. Bobby looks good. Angel Garza versus Kane, one-on-one. -on -one. Can King keep up the momentum? And he can as Angel Garza picks up the win and grows their rivalry. Tony Storm calls out Asuka. We have Eric versus King Nakamura as Roderick Strong runs in. Nakamura beats Eric with the help of Roderick, but gets injured. Tamina does some charity. We have a rematch. Edge and Hogan versus Cameron Grimes and Razor Ramon. And Edge and Hogan are on a roll as a tag team as they pick up the win. Naomi cuts a promo. Shayna versus Asuka. Extreme Rules rematch. Title on the line again. And Asuka picks up the win. And NXT looks good. Mickey James' contract is running up. Of course we're going to bring her back after she beat Bailey in that Hell in a Cell. Eddie Guerrero wants a contract. Of course we're bringing him back. We love Eddie. Samoa Joe comes up to Beetlejuice. He has something to say. He's tired of being a good guy. He wants to be a bad guy. And for some reason he mentions Eddie Guerrero. Do we start that rivalry? I don't know. We promise to turn him into a bad guy, which who doesn't love bad guy Samoa Joe? We have Kofi Kingston. He's saying he's the man. He can do more for the brand. He knows he can excite in the main event. We say sure. Rematch Charlotte and Peyton versus Sasha and Mickey. No titles on the line, and Sasha and Mickey pick up the win, avenging their loss. Not titles, though, so it doesn't matter. Eddie does some advertising. We need money. Mandy Rose versus Trish continuing their rivalry, and Mandy picks up a win against Trish Stratus. They're going back and forth. The matches aren't good, though. Like I said, we need money. Jeff Hardy versus Walter going one-on-one -on -one yet again. Walter picks up the win against the Enigma. Is that how they say it? Sure. Need money. Becky does some advertising. Kofi and Goldberg versus The Undertaker and Samoa Joe. Tag titles match. Don't know why. Goldberg, Kofi wins. We have Angel Garza versus Kane. Rematch Extreme Rules. Who's going to pick up the win this time? We have Kane winning against Angel Garza and he gets injured. Drew McIntyre cuts a promo. Cena after running in does a match against X-Pac one-on-one and he picks up the win. What happened with Brute Force? I don't... It's disappointing. Roger calls out Drew in the rematch yet again. Cameron Grimes, Razor Ramon versus Edge and Hogan. They switch positions and they switch who wins as Hogan gets injured. Shayna Baszler cuts a promo. Tag titles on the line. They love this matchup. Tony and Naomi versus Tamina and Natalya. Tamina and Natalya pick up the win. NXT, oh no. We have Triple H telling us special matches cost double. Then we have Ivar coming up to us telling us he wants to team with Brock Lesnar. I mean, they're both intimidating men. Why not? It seems interesting. Interesting tag team. Riddle hasn't wrestled in a while. He wants a match. I'm sorry, Riddle, but sure, you got it. Continuing Walter versus Jeff Hardy. Tables match one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to pick up the win this time as Walter slams Jeff through a table? It's a great match. We're turning Eddie to a bad guy after the loss. Riddle wanted a match. We give him Chad Gable. Haven't seen either one of them. And Chad picks up the win in a disappointing match. Rey Mysterio, bad guy? Uh -uh. Tag team? Uh -uh. Brock and Ivar versus Kofi and Goldberg. We had Dolph run in and Brock and Ivar pick up the win. Starts a rivalry between Ziggler and Kingston. Becky Lynch does some charity. Samoa Joe versus Bobby Lashley. Tables match. Samoa Joe picks up the win against Bobby. 
They start off Roderick versus Cena for the NXT title. What? This is such a random match. Roderick Strong wins, defends the title. Tamina calls out Naomi. Yet another random match. X-Pac versus Edge one-on-one. -on -one. What happened to all the rivalries? They're just doing random matches. I mean, it's fresh. It's new. Why not? Naomi cuts a promo. Razor versus Eric. Yet another random new match. And Razor Ramon picks up the win. I don't know what NXT is doing. How are they winning? Angel Garza cuts a promo. You know, it's matches like this. Asuka versus Shayna Baszler. Extreme Rules. Tony called out Asuka, but then I'm confused. NXT is winning. We have Triple H letting us know Eddie Guerrero will not be able to compete against the pay-per-view or Becky. And then we have Ivar, new tag champs, him and Brock. Wasn't sure, but looked it up, and they are. They won the titles, fair and square. And then you have Dolph, he wants to be on the card tonight, why not? Charlotte and Peyton Royce defend their tag titles against Mickey and Sasha. And Sasha and Mickey can't reclaim those titles as Charlotte and Peyton pick up the win and their rivalry. Dolph Ziggler, we gave him what he wanted, charity. Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker tables match, and Brock Lesnar decimated The Undertaker in this rivalry. And then we have Trish Stratus doing some charity, trying to get as many fans as possible. Walter versus Jeff, hell in a cell. I'm scared what Jeff might do, but he picks up the win. He threw it all on the line in a classic. Kofi does some charity. AJ versus Kevin. TLC, can Kevin win back the title? And he does. Kevin just doesn't want to give up that title in a classic. Ray does some charity. Bobby versus Samoa. Tables match. One on one. Bobby wins, ending their rivalry. Kane versus Angel Garza, one on one tables match. Who's going to pick up the win? And it's Angel Garza, and he ends the rivalry against Kane. Natalia forgot about her, and she does some charity. Asuka versus Shayna Baszler, tables match, no title on the line. Very interesting. Asuka picks up the win against Shayna. X Pac cuts a promo. And then we move on to Tamina versus Naomi. They love this matchup. They love the tag teams, they love the singles. And Naomi picks up the win against Tamina in a classic. Brew forces back. Bag, does charity the tag match tables edge hogan versus cameron grimes and razor and edge and hogan pick up the win ending their rivalry then eric calls out edge yet again roderick versus drew hell in itself for the title roderick picks up the win defends the title nxt we're coming we have Goldberg's contract running out. He's one of our most popular superstars. We're bringing him back, of course. Triple H concerned we're losing the NXT. He's going to offer us a free Legend Whisperer. I mean, why not? Who will we pick up? You'll see next episode. Samoa Joe, I really thought we could do it next episode. I forgot three weeks. He's mad at us. I'm sorry. We'll turn you heel, probably. Sasha wants a match. 